Since the winter started, my wife and I have been putting our coats and jackets all over the house. While the cat seems to like it, things have kind of gotten out of control. We have an empty wall behind our front door, which I think is a good spot to hang a coat rack. Now, don't tell my wife, but the real reason for building this coat rack is that I just couldn't wait to try out my new table saw, even though I didn't quite finish building it yet. I found this big drawer that someone threw away. It's really nothing special, it's made out of pine and had this blue color all over it. Usually I won't even bother picking something this beat up off the curb, but I was just curious to see if I could use the table saw to get something decent out of it. I thought it could be a nice exercise. So I took the best looking board, which was still a pretty bad looking piece of wood. It was a bit cupped, full of staples, and pretty dirty too. So I took the staples out, halfway with a flat screwdriver, and the rest of the way with locking pliers. I then cut the board down closer to its final dimensions, and ripped both sides off to get the board to be 13 centimeters wide, which was twice my maximal depth of cut. In order to straighten the board, I needed a flat reference plane, so I used two short screws to attach it to a sacrificial piece of plywood. Now I could take care of the cup. I raised the blade and set a feather board to hold the board tight onto the fence during the cut. Because this will apply pressure on the fence towards its end, I clamped the fence to the table on the back as well to make sure it doesn't move. But I didn't set the feather board properly since the workpiece got stuck when it hit it. So I repositioned it and made the cut again. This time it worked out okay, so I flipped the board and cut the other side as well. I had a little bit of burns and marks from the blade, but after some scraping and sanding I got to a pretty decent result. And the cup was gone, at least on the upper side. Next I trimmed the board to its final dimensions. I wanted to chamfer the edges of the board by making a 45 degree cut on the table saw. In order not to ruin my Zer clearance insert, I removed it and put in a new one. out pretty nice, although I did have a little bit of tear out. I thought it would be nice to add a small inlay around the coat rack. A few weeks ago I found a lot of hardwood flooring that was thrown away, so I had quite a lot of hardwood. I really felt like a kid in a candy store with all of this variety to choose from. I wanted to use something that will go nice with the pine, but won't have too much contrast. I'm really not sure what kind of wood this is, so if you have an idea let me know in the comments. In order to use the table saw to cut the groove for the inlay, I glued some black electrical tape on the fence to mark the start and end positions for the cut. I then tried to finish the grooves with a chisel. Although it was pretty sharp, I had a really hard time removing the material, especially on the groove perpendicular to the end grain. The pine was just so soft, so it was very hard to work on without damaging it. So I decided to change plans and went back to the table saw and cut the groove all the way through. I then cut the hardwood inlay and glued it in place. When the glue was dry, I cut off the excess material on the table saw. It was a bit awkward, but it worked out okay. Then, it was simply a matter of planing it flush. After about half an hour of careful work, the result was just spectacular. I ended up with beautiful shavings, some were curly, some long and thin, and even some of hardwood wrapped in pine. Oh, and I also got the inlay nice and flat. All I had left to do now was to take care of the chamfers.
Next, I applied a couple of coats of water-based finish, and when it was dry, I finally removed the sacrificial plywood from the back. Remember that blue color? In order to drill the holes for the dowels, I put a couple of C-clamps on my temporary drill press to act as a depth stop, and used some scrap wood to set the angle. I drilled two of the holes all the way through using a small drill bit, so I could later drive in screws that will attach the coat rack to the wall. By attaching a bolt to a piece of wood, I made something that I could use to hold the dowels in the drill, so I could chamfer their ends. I could probably just use a chisel instead, but where's the fun in that? Because some of the dowels were a bit loose in the holes, I used a relatively generous amount of glue. I wasn't worried too much about cleaning it up, since I already applied finish on the board. I gave the glue a short while to dry, and then removed the excess. After a couple more coats of water-based finish, it was finally done. This was a really interesting experiment, and I learned a lot from it. I really didn't think I could get something this nice from that old drawer. The result is far from perfect, but I still really like the way it came out. So, it has some imperfections here and there, but it really doesn't matter all that much, because the thing about coat hangers is that you never get to actually see them. Till next time, thanks for watching! If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. You might also like these videos.